Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today I bring you guys an Iron Man related loot video, this time 10,000 Aberrant Spectres. Now it's been a long time since I've done a loot video on my Iron Man account and I figured if I wanted to do 10,000 Aberrant Spectres, why not just do it on my Iron Man because all of the drops that you get from this monster are not only impressive as you guys will see over the course of this video for a main account, but they're very, very useful for any type of Iron Man build, whether you're an ultimate, hardcore, or just a normal. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. This one did take quite a while to do. I've been kind of doing this as a side project, kind of just AFKing on this account while I'm playing on my main account on stream. And this did take a couple weeks to do. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a comment below on what you want to see next. And also feel free to like it. I would appreciate it. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So just like in all these other loot videos that you guys have seen in the Canifus Slayer Tower, we did track all of the kills with the Enchanted Gem. Also also known as the Slayer Helm Log, um, pretty much shown before, starting at zero, refreshing them all the way up towards 10,000. Really easy way to track the kills, and for this video, I went with a pretty basic setup, as you can imagine, for these Aber Inspectors. All you need to do is really pray magic, so I wanted to get pretty much as much prayer bonus as I could, so I went with the full Proselyte setup as well as the Arty Cloak. And you can't forget to bring your Slayer Helmet, or of course just a Nose Peg if you haven't unlocked a Slayer Helmet yet, because these Aber Inspectors do use a magic-based attack, and if you don't use a Nose Peg or a Slayer Helmet, you will get your stats reduced dramatically. As for my melee weapon goes, I just used a Whip the whole entire time. Um, since I was praying magic, I wasn't really bringing any food or any uh, special attack. I was really just AFKing all of this with a Whip, and whenever I would lose aggro to these Aber Inspectors, which basically means they attack you without you having to click, them, I would simply just run upstairs in the other room, reset the aggro, and then I would be pretty good for at least 10 minutes or so. So it was very relaxing, just kind of sat there with the whip and the prayer up so that I never really uh, took any damage or anything. Now as it goes for the inventory as shown on screen, I strongly recommend since you are going to be getting a ton of herbs and ton of seeds from this monster that if you have them, of course bring the herb sack, the seed box, and as well as the gem bag. You definitely won't get as many gems as you will seeds and herbs, but the gem bag is still worth bringing because you will occasionally get them as a drop and they do add up over time as you guys will see once we get towards the price check. I also decided to bring a rune pouch and that was because that the Aber Inspectors have these items that I didn't really want to pick up and uh, always bank for the tab so I pretty much just dedicated them to Alking and those items being the Steel Axe, the Mithril Kite Shield, and the Adamant Plate Legs. Now all of those items are 1 in 128 uh, despite the Steel Axe being 1 in 42 and those just really help add to the price check over time. Uh, most people just leave them on the ground from what I've seen, but I would strongly recommend alking them because that will help over time kind of make your money back on the supplies. And while I am an Iron Man account, you know, if you are a main, you will be using a lot of that money from supplies essentially just on prayer potions and supersets. Supersets are optional. Uh, of course, you can bring a Dragon Battle Axe to increase your strength level. You don't have to always bring strength potions. But just keep in mind, the higher that your stats are, the quicker the kills will be and the more kills you will get per hour. Now, for me, I was making sure to track every single time I would reach 1,000 kills overall. I would just simply turn Camtasia on, kind of show you guys an update, and uh, you know, on average for me, since I was AFKing, of course, not using my full attention, I would say that I was averaging anywhere from 100 to 115 kills per hour. I was really just kind of slacking. I'm sure you can definitely get more than that, especially if you use a blowpipe. Not too sure what is the best in slot weapon here, but I will say using a whip and blowpipe seem to be the two most common weapons that I see out of all the accounts, uh, you know, throughout this time. Also, it is important to note that the wiki does say that you can safe spot these Aber Inspectors, so for any of you low levels, um, that really does have an advantage. And here in this clip, just over 1,000 kills in, we did pick up 95 defense, and followed by that, we did actually pull off 95 attacks. So yeah, it was really nice to get those levels, kind of a spoiler for the future Iron Man progress video. But yeah, you know, I really wanted to get this video out there, so don't mind the total level for all you guys who uh, keep up to date with that series. And also, since the Aber Inspectors are undead, if you go ahead and use a Salve Amulet or a Salve Amulet Enchanted, then you'll have a large advantage, but that of course is if you're off task because they don't stack with the Slayer Helmet. And yes, as I'm voiceovering this video, I just realized that I could have used a Salve Amulet this whole time since I was not on task. So do yourself a favor and don't make the mistake that I just realized that I did. And also keep in mind that these Aber Inspectors can be found in two locations, the first one being the Mortanya Slayer Tower 
Tower's second floor, and of course the Stronghold Slayer Cave right next to Neve or Steve, depending on who you are. Max hit of this monster is 11, and if you don't have the Nose Peg or, you know, the Mage Prayer up, it is a 14, so just always keep your Protect Magic on, always keep that important helmet on. And yeah, in general, you know, these Aberrant Spectres were released into the game January 26, 2005, members only, and of course the weakness is range magic, believe it or not, and of course that's Salve Amulet. Now this monster can be assigned by multiple Slayer Masters, Duradel, Neve, Konar, as well as Pretty Good Task for Brimstone Keys, Chaldar, and of course Vanica. And here we are almost getting our second 99 on this account, 98 strength as well as 120 combat. So yeah, this video not only got me a lot of great supplies and resources on this Iron Man account, but it did give me some levels as well. So yeah, really nice to see. And you know, that was about 4,000 and kills in so not even the halfway point and just seeing all of that loot add up all those seeds add up and stack up over time I'm really looking forward to all of the farming and herb lore XP and all the potions that I'm going to have banked after this video It's gonna be a very fun day of skilling and trust me I don't say that a lot so yeah that's gonna be awesome and uh, as you guys can imagine you know there is some rare and unique drops as well I'm sure most of you guys already know about them but yeah the black mystic row bottom is pretty much the key item that you can get from these aberrant specters as the main valuable item. And of course the rune full helms which we did collect. And although I did actually have rune full helms as well as mystic row bottoms and even the lava battle staff that they drop in the bank prior to this video, all I did as you guys saw at the very beginning was I got a notepad out and I wrote down all of the amounts of these items so that when we get to the very end we can just simply subtract them from what we started with. And there you go, pretty much 100% accuracy on keeping track of all those drops. The combat stats to these aberrant specters are 90 defense and 105 magic so you know that is why if you're ever curious why you're hitting zeros, they do have a decent defense level even though they're virtually in no armor. And while we weren't killing the Aberrant Spectres or banking, we were of course doing the occasional level 3 clue scroll. And I made myself a promise, you know, since I didn't have a seed box, no matter where I went, whether it was to a bank or whether it was to 50 Wilderness to do these clues, I was never going to bank any of the seeds. So I kept them in the inventory every single minute, every single second of being on this account pretty much until this video was complete. I made this more of a challenge. I mean, it would be pretty shitty if a PKer killed me and, you know, I would lose my uh, seeds. And I also actually managed to lose my membership during this video, so that kind of tells you guys how long it took to get out there. And to recap, you know, before we get to the price check, I just want to say I was in the process of moving states. If you guys follow my live streams on Twitch, we do stream daily now, 9 to 5 is the usual hours. Not trying to give myself a shout out, but I pretty much explain why I haven't been on lately and uh, kind of give you guys an explanation on that. But yeah, that is something to keep in mind, but uh, as you can see, see here, you know, we did manage to reach 96 attack as well as 96 defense just shortly on after. And that was kind of a good way to kind of bring a close to this kill count. Um, not quite getting any 99s, but certainly getting a lot of levels, which makes this video even better than it already is. And um, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get to the price check, show you guys the overall loot from 10,000 Aberrant Spectres. And as mentioned before, if we go ahead and check that Slayer Helmet log, as you guys can see here, starting at zero and ending at an overall KC of 10,000. And of course, in general, now we are close to 14,000 Aberrant Spectre KC on this account. Now, definitely not going to want to visit these again anytime soon, but I'm sure as I go for 99 Slayer, I will get this task again in the future. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this price check started. So first things first, we are going to price check all of these herbs as well as the seeds the rune full helms, lava staves, and mystic robe bottoms. Now keep in mind for this video, I did actually have 149 rune full helms in the bank, as well as a decent amount of mystic robe bottoms, so I did want to make sure that I pretty much wrote those down, so all of what you guys are going to see is accurate. So overall, from 10,000 aberrant specters, we made just about 11.7 mil in herbs, and then we look at the rune full helms walking away with 77 of those. Huge amount of seeds, I mean tons of herb seeds, decent amount of potato cactus as well as snape grass seeds, 64 lava battle staves, and 20 dark mystic robe bottoms. Did manage to also get a few tooth keys and overall from that one price check we did end up with 20.5 mil which definitely exceeded my expectations. And then of course we have the small price check which I would consider just another 100k from the gems. Obviously the value doesn't matter too much because I am an Iron Man account but let's go ahead and open all of these caskets you know let's see what we can get from these seven clue scroll caskets and as you can see from the very first one we did manage to get one of the best and one 
of the rarest items, despite Third Age, that you can get from a hard clue scroll, Robin Hood hat. So I will say, you know, not only did I enjoy these 10,000 Aberrant Spectres, all of the XP I'm going to get over the course of the next few months with all of the supplies, but I actually managed to get a Robin Hood hat, and go figure, it was on my Iron Man account. You know, we always see me doing these clue scrolls on Mr. No Sleep the main, but finally the Iron Man pulling through for us and uh, showing us what we've always wanted to see. It's not quite a Third Age item, but uh, it's certainly one step closer. So I was really happy to see that, and uh, in general, you know, we did also walk away with another pair of Ceridoman Chaps, as well as a new pair of Zamorak Chaps, so that was really nice to see. Overall, I would say I got about 4 mil from all of these clue scrolls, so a little extra GP for anyone who is considering picking up and doing the hard clues that you get from these Aberrant Spectres. But you certainly don't have to do that, because overall, this video was great. 10,000 Aberrant Spectres, we walked away with not only a lot of combat levels, but over 800 Runars, 600 Irits, 430 Quarms, as well as 402 Aventos, a Robin Hood hat, and much, much more. For any Iron Man build out there, I really recommend, if you're ever bored, you know, playing on multiple accounts at one time, feel free to AFK Aberrant Spectres, because over time, you will really get a lot of farming and Herbler XP banked, and in general, I just think they're a really cool and nostalgic monster. So, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Would really appreciate any suggestions that you guys have for my Iron Man, specifically some loot videos that you want to see, and uh, with all that being said, feel free to check out the description below if you want to see some live streams that I've been doing on Twitch this week. Definitely a different kind of vibe in there, but I would appreciate it if you stopped by, and with all that being said, until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.